What's up, how you doing? Today we're gonna cook some chicken sausages, Italian style. And then I have some beef souvlaki that I'm gonna cook. Also, Anaheim peppers. Gonna grill them on the, uh, the fire over here. Look at these good looking peppers. When, when you grill these, these uh, make any meal even better. Good flavor. Today we're gonna talk about something I grew up with. And I've mentioned this before. Saturday morning cartoons. If you grew up in my time, channels 457, NBC, ABC, CBS, Saturday morning from like 7 to 2, 2.30, they had cartoons on and every kid my age watched them. So we had Herculoids, big fan of this. Devlin, look at that. This was uh, one of my favorite cartoons. It reminded me of Evil Knievel, which I was a big fan of, and I'm still a big fan of. I don't know how many things I jumped over with my bike, but uh, you know, big fan of that. And, and this was based on Evil Knievel, Devlin. Yeah, amazing, thrilling, colossal. This was an awesome cartoon. And I always thought, you know, you grow up, this is the kind of life you're going to have. One of these uh, situations, a couple of people hanging around with you, going to places. Super Friends. I love the Super Friends, that inspirational music at the beginning. Mixoplick. Yeah, check that out. That's a good cartoon series right there. Top cat. These cats were so cool. They hung around the alley. Very smart cats. Cop in the back. The Yogi Bear Show. Loved watching this. Snagapus, Boo Boo, Park Ranger. In the back there. Great cartoon. Of course, top cartoon, the Flintstones. You can't get much better than the Flintstones. Fred and Barney, Wilma, Betty, Dino, Bam Bam, Pebbles. Look at that. It's just great cartoon. I love this. Great stories. Um, situations were realistic. And it was like you were watching, you know, a real show and not a cartoon big fan of the Flintstones. To this damn big fan. Big fan of the Flintstones. Popeye. Now these were before my time, but I still watched Popeye the Sailor. This came out in 1941 to 43. Big fan. He would eat the spinach and become super strong, but spinach not really uh, related to strength. You could eat, you know, a ton of spinach and you're not going to notice anything and here we are with one of my heroes big inspiration in my life he was a janitor secret identity and then a crime fighter during the day and night but he had spot the cat which had stripes the incredible Hong Kong Fui I love this cartoon series my favorite. Look at that, Hong Kong Fui. I can't tell you how inspirational this series was to me. To this day, uh, I'd like to be a janitor, even at a high school, at nighttime when all the students leave, walking around with the broom. I was always looking at the janitors back in my time, high school and before. Go, so these guys, you know, they have a cool little job here. But anyway, that's what we watched. The last one to come on was around 2 o'clock, Fat Albert. Fat Albert. And, uh, and then every week I would say to myself, where'd the time go? And a lot of times after that, you know, uh, I'd go out and play. But every once in a while I would watch bowling that would come on at around 4 bowling 
Earl Anthony. Big crybaby, Earl Anthony. If he lost, he, he was a big crybaby. Uh, who's the other guy? Mark Roth. Earl Anthony and Mark Roth. I love those, uh, those guys competing. Amazing bowlers. I think Mark Roth is still around. But anyway, those were good old days. Now, you could watch cartoons all day. They have these stations on cable, 24-7 cartoons. But in my time, Saturday was special. Friday night, Donnie and Marie show. That last song that played, that May Tomorrow Be a Perfect Day song. That kicked off the weekend for me. It, it got me into that mood. You know, that, that, that feeling of well-being once that song played. And I met Donnie Osmond and Marie, Marie Osmond. I don't know what her last name is. I met them a few years ago and I was telling Donnie about that whole thing about the show. I said, when that show came on, that started my weekend. It made me feel like something great was coming. And then when that song played, I knew the next day was gonna be awesome, Saturday. And uh, he said, yeah, that's the way it was back then. And they also had a cartoon, the Osmonds and the Jacksons. And uh, yeah, nice guy, Donnie Osmond. Had a really good conversation with him, and Marie too. Marie gave my daughter Isabella a guitar pick. Yeah, but uh, Flintstones, I remember uh, this would come on UFH, is that what it's called? UHF, you know those stations you can't catch that well, you need an antenna on the roof with all those spikes. We didn't have one of those, so we would have to mess around with the rabbit ears and I would get it, but it was all, you know, staticky. And after school, I would watch this because this was an after school one. It wasn't a Saturday morning one. This was probably Saturday mornings. Oh no, I think this was prime time. So we never had it Saturday mornings. But in my time when I was a kid, this was on uh, the the UFH, UFH, or UHF. Anyway, one of those. And I loved watching this after school. Hong Kong Fui, number one super guy. All right, here we are again. Chicken sausages, Italian. And then we have beef on a skewer. These are very uh, tasty, and so are these. But this is what makes it Anaheim peppers. And I have some jalapeno, I have a jalapeno there. I think I have one left, I'm gonna go grab it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. This is the last one of the season. I don't, I don't see any more. The last jalapeno, it's not that, uh, not that big, but flavorful. So, that's it, we're gonna start cooking here, grilling. Yeah, I got everything cooking on the grill. Tonight we're gonna have Anchor beer. Steam beer, uh, 
This company's been around since 1896. It's a long time. San Francisco based company, so we're gonna try it out. Nice color. Get that beer. Smells great. Good smelling beer. Nice aroma. That's a good beer. Goes good with the uh, sausages, so gonna have that with the sausages. I highly recommend this beer in moderation. Nice and cold. I want my beer to be as cold as possible without freezing. I don't like that warm beer. Some people like warm beer. They say it uh, brings out the flavor. I don't like that.